Okay, my table router, I put in a quarter inch round over here and I'm gonna round over this one edge here. This is gonna be the top of, of the holder. Okay, see the little radius on here now, and also a radius this one right here. So now let's do a little sanding on it here. Done the sand and everything, wiped them off, blew them off real good, took a tack rack right over them, and we're ready to do some staining here. And what I'm going to use on it is this golden oak stain. Okay, to get inside the hose, get you some q tips run them inside it. Okay, let's let that set on there about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll wipe off the excess. Okay, the little dips here and everything are gonna be a little bit harder to do. So I'm gonna use the Q-tips You don't want to let none of it settle in there. I'm gonna wipe off all you can. Okay guys, I, I cut me some spindles here and I cut them three inches long and I stained them and I drilled me a, a 1 8 inch hole in the bottom of them so I can stick it on my paint board here. So now we need to spray some clear on them. Okay, now it's time for assembly. What we do is put the back side and then uh, the bottom here. So apply some top bond two glue. Notice so I've chamfered the ends here a little bit. What I'm using the clamps for is just to press the dowels in a little bit. They're a little bit tight. So you take them off. Okay, 
damp washcloth to get the, the rest of the glue off with. Okay guys, here it is finished up and I had some of her hooks, some scissors, some pencils and everything. I uh, made this right here for a little uh, tape measure. I've not got it with me. Uh, you got another little tray here that you can um, put, you know, smaller needles or something else in it that's, you know, small and everything. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the design of it and everything. I think my niece is going to love it. Thanks for watching guys.